Welcome to Fans News. Welcome to the next interview. And we're here at the Hibernian Tra Training Centre and we are interviewing this guy. Here we go! See you again. Okay. <laughs> Take two. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll try and get it right this time. We've got some lovely equipment to use this time. So, um, so just a wee bit of deja vu. Just the questions, just like last time. But um, we'll just first of all welcome to Hibs. Okay, you've, much. you've had um, quite a few pre-season sort of redoing with your knee, um, which looks like it's coming on fine yep. based on Saturday. And obviously you got your first. First proper sort of home game back. Um, just tell us a little bit about your injury and how it's come about so far. And now you're 100% um, looking at you, I think. I first of all torn my medial ligament and cartilage damage. Um, basically, I got an operation to rebuild it. Got on a, like a metal external brace put in just to strengthen it, rebuild it. Um, just to, in case it happens again or that, if I make an tackle, it makes it stronger. Um, I could have left it without the surgery, but I'd most likely still be out. I'm still ahead of time, about two weeks ahead of time anyway, but um, it seems fine and the surgeon was happy enough, so uh, luckily uh, I got back playing. Yeah, and as you say, a, a way ahead of schedule. I mean, we've seen you on Saturday. Um, pretty much maybe just a couple of steps off of your full I think just shape, a, I think. the case of match fitness. Um, yeah. I only played uh, 60 minutes beforehand for Saturday, but um, I'm working hard in training and uh, I was just happy, to, happy enough to be in the team. Grand. But obviously, last season got your injury right at the end, and then obviously there was that big gap in between the um, through the pre season and before yeah. obviously pre season kicked off. You were going through sort of your operation, you were mm -hmm. going through your rehab and things like that. And then obviously, you were kind of out of contract, if you like. Yeah. You'd got contract offers from, from Dundee, we'd heard in, in the media, and obviously Hibs as well. Yeah. A lot of the fans, um, like a couple of asking obviously the fans questions that we'll come to in a minute, and yeah. quite a few of them were just sort of saying, you know, what was it that, that um, made you think right, well, Hibs is the club I want to go to, compared to obviously Dundee, or, you know, what, what, what was it you seen at Hibs that you thought, this is where I want to be? I think when I initially came on loan, um, I really took to the club, um, it was, everyone welcomed me and I was really enjoying my time there. Um, I was playing games and that and uh, as I said I really enjoyed it and um, when Dundee offered me a contract I really I really thought about it and luckily enough I hold it off long enough and uh, Hibs came back in with, with, um, with a contract but I, as I say I, I don't look back, I don't feel like it is a step below, I feel like Hibs, Hibs is a class, um, massive club and that um, I can further my career here. Grant, well, I mean, obviously, as you've seen, you know, through social media and all the rest of it, you've become a bit of a, a fan's favourite. Um, a lot of the, probably based around the, the nickname, Squirrel. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of the questions that were asked as well, kind of repeated was, you know, who came up with Squirrel? And has that always been a nickname or is that something that you've just gotten at Hibs? And how did that come about? I think it's just stuck the last few months. Um, Jason Cummins made it up, shock. Um, <laughs> I think it was just the beard thing and you just started saying it and the, the boys just started saying it as well and all the fans have, have kind of latched on it as well but no, I'm, oh, it's, it's, it's a nickname, I'm gonna, it's going to stick. Yeah, Martin it's, Boyle, Squirrel Mains it, I mean, and I'm getting videos. photos and videos and that and it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's a good bit of banter as well. There's and, something um, for the hip shop is to get a, a t-shirt with yeah, Super Squirrel yeah, on it absolutely. Like I mean, and the number on the back. Definitely, but no. I'm, I'm we'll, happy enough we'll for that. If everyone else is happy, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Grant, um, just wanted to obviously have a wee look forward. We we go to that team through in the West on Saturday, uh, Sunday, sorry. Um, how how's the squad looking? You know, how are you feeling for contention for Sunday? How do you think? With obviously, you know, we we stumbled in the first game. We've come back again on Saturday. We have got our, our first three points on on the board. We're going to go away to who everybody expects to be our main, obviously, title challengers this season. Um, what's your kind of thoughts on 
on Rangers and how how are we set up and how do you feel about Sunday? I think um, the first game of the season was a bit of a miss up, uh, a miss up, but um, I think it was important to get the three points. Saturday uh, we, we played well. We got injuries coming back. We got Dan myself coming back as well, and um, we've really stuck in at training, going through shape and that, and uh, I think the boys are really looking forward to it. Um, I think obviously everyone else is kind of wrote off Rangers to, to run away with the league, but that's not uh, it's, it's not going to happen around here, unfortunately. So, um, well, we're, we're looking good for Saturday. Um, we'll go there, we'll take it to them, and we'll, we'll see what happens. And, and I presume, you know, everybody's obviously high spirits and, and things now. There's been a lot of off the field negativity and stuff going on in the last few days. Thankfully, that's all dealt with. How how is that kind of you know being received by the, the players as such? And you know, has it affected you? Have you just sort of you know, well, it's going on. We'll just go. I think on it's been it. going on long enough. It's it was just passing everyone by, and I think really much was happening. But now that um, obviously the players moved on, and we've got a new player in, and maybe more to come. So it's it's obviously making this, the squad even stronger as well. So. Yeah, and that, that player coming in, obviously Liam Henderson, you know, quite a, a hot prospect, I think, in, in uh, Scottish football. So yeah, he's, he looked sharp. It's quite a coup to, to get him, even even though it's obviously 12 months loan, but, you know, for, for what we expect to be, hopefully, our last season in the Championship. Absolutely. It's, hopefully he can be a star here. We've heard yeah. good things in that. He's come from a, a great club. And, and he looks really sharp. He looks really sharp. He's, he's really sharp. Hopefully he can kick on. Excellent. Well, as we like to do on Fans News, we'll... Um, Pop to the fans' questions. Now, yep. I know you've maybe had just a wee sneak peek <laughs> being on, yep. um, but hopefully you're not, uh, you've not pre-recorded your messages in nah. your head. And <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so, Diane Helland, um, who's the biggest joker in the squad? Jason Cummins, by far. We kind of guessed that, he's, I think, didn't we? He's <laughs> a, a lunatic, a nutter. I always said, Jason Cummins, Jimmy Bullard in the same team, can you imagine? I've been the handle it. I've been here six months, I could write a book about him. Oh. <laughs> we'll look forward to that. He's a riot. Um, who's the quietest person? Who's the keeps himself to himself? Willie Stevenson. Again, I think that was almost inevitable as he's well. He's like a ghost like, around here. He's... he's been here for 50 years and yeah. you know we've only just, you know, we see him on a match day and that's it, don't we? Yeah. We need to try and get an interview with him, actually, <laughs> eventually. You need to find him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, Peter Tullock wants to know if Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmond were both drowning and you only had time to save which one, what kind of sandwich would you make? <laughs> These questions are like that. <laughs> I think they knew, yeah. You know, was... um, chicken mayo. <laughs> chicken mayo, no, you think? <laughs> a baguette, I wouldn't make a sandwich, no. Nah. <laughs> um, Connor, who's standing in the corner here. Um, who's the best player that you've ever played against? Against? Um, we played against Man City in a pre-season game for Dundee. Um, Sami Nasri and Jesus Navas played, and Negredo as well. So I came on the second half and got the opportunity to play against them. So that was probably the best players I've played. Quite an experience. Quite an experience, yeah. yeah I was Starstruck. Beat them 2-0 as well. So it was, yeah? Uh, so it was, Super. It was quite good. Uh. Did you score? Nah. Oh. nah. Right. Moving on. <laughs> um, Neil McPherson, what team... Who was your team growing up? Well, when I was down here, obviously my dad, he was a, a jambo, unfortunately, but um, I moved up to Aberdeen at a young age, so I've just been supporting them since yeah, since I was a young boy. So You're just... Surely a Dunbar United fan, no? Nah, nah, nah. Nah? Okay. Um, Bailey Smith, best goal you've ever scored? Probably the one against Falkirk last game of the season. That was probably... That was decent enough. Yeah, yeah. Happy with that. A little cracker. Um, and if you won a million quid, would you give up football? That's from Jonathan Cuthbert. No. Worked too hard to get here. I don't see why I would throw it away. Even so if that's, I was, that's only one year of your contract. Even if I was a millionaire. <laughs> I'd probably free up my wage and play for free. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> give it to Charlie. Hibs kids. There you go. Absolutely. Um, Rory Jamie Thompson wants to know who was your idol growing up footballing wise? Um, probably Stephen Gerrard. Um, my dad sported Liverpool growing up as well, so I really just watched all the games I have on TV, and obviously Gerrard was shining 
at that time, got to see the best of them at that time. So, yeah, Stephen Gerrard. Grant. Um, currently speaking, um, using you know with the clubs the way they are at the moment, worldwide, who would be your dream club to play for? And that's from Lee Whitecross. Probably and we Barcelona, understand if you Barcelona, say Barcelona. Aye, probably Barcelona. <laughs> I'd like to play for Liverpool, but Barcelona would be up there. Liverpool, yeah. Really? Okay. What's your biggest personal achievement in football? I think winning the Scottish Championship with Dundee was, was up there. That was probably the highlight so far. And that will be Trump this season, That'll I suppose. That will be Trump, that will be yeah. better this season. Good lad. Um, last season's away top, or this season's away top? Black or purple? White or purple, sorry. This season's one. Much yeah. better, yeah. It's quality. Yeah. It's a bit different, but it's, I really like it. Um, Melissa Clements wants to know, what's your pre-match ritual? Food, music, that kind of thing? Or anything specific that you do? Um, if it was a 12 o'clock kick-off, probably just cereals, toast, oats and that. Um, 3 o'clock, probably your breakfast in the morning, your cereals, your toast and that. And then around lunchtime, your pasta, your chicken, your vegetables and that. Um, hold up a bit of protein and carbs. And uh, rituals, it would just be, if we're on the away bus, we'd probably just have a laugh in that with the boys. And then when I knew I was getting close at the stadium, I'd probably put in headphones, we would get switched on and that. But that's about it, I've not got none of this going out last no. or stuff like that. No fancy socks or nah. underwear or. Tie my right foot before nah. my left? Nah, nah, nah. Can't. Um, we've seen your <coughs> tattoos your arm and things. Um, Melissa wants to know, is there any meaning behind them? Or is it just random pictures? I think it's just random when I went to, uh, I've always liked tattoos. Um, obviously, it's stereotypical football player, is it? <laughs> so, um, no, um, I got an, an owl on my arm. My gran really likes owls and that, and she's probably a special thing in my life, so probably got that on my arm as well, so. Excellent. Um, who's the best player you've ever played with? No, no really like been a, a real highlight. Probably Scott Allen was up there before they left. Real potential, the guy could pretty much do anything. He's, he could be a right star in that Celtic team if he breaks in there. So probably Scott, yeah. Um, and lastly from the fans, Tony was saying that he's, you know, he's quite impressed that you spend a lot of time on social media, you know, and you interact with the fans as best you can. Um, in a way, you see all the, you know, us Hibs fans, we're not exactly the, the easiest to please in, <laughs> in world football. Um, does it annoy you at times, some of the criticism that, that some fans come out with? Does it, you know, does it make you want to, obviously you have to, you have to, you know, watch yourself, obviously, and what you're saying and things like that on media. And does it make, you know, you have to hold yourself back sometimes from saying, well, you know, hang on a minute or... You know, but obviously there's the positive side as well. You know, as I said before, you're absolutely loved by the fans. You get all the all the, the lovely pictures of squirrels and things to the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, how how do you think? Do you think more players should be involved a wee bit more with social media, or do probably you think there's fans and are probably the most important thing to the the club? I mean, you pay to watch us, you're entitled to your opinion. If you play rubbish, then you've you've got to take that in the chin. Unfortunately, um, no. I mean, as long as it's not like proper abuse, <laughs> like, you, you, you can be limited. I know what like, people are saying, um, like, social media things are really massive nowadays and you can get in trouble for what you say and that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, you just take it for a bit of, a bit of banter as well. Um, I think it, you, you just get on with it. Your, your teammates criticise you on the, the pitch as well. If you make a mistake, then you get on with it. You don't ball and swear back. You just make sure it doesn't happen again. So I think it's... Uh, I think it's good to have a relationship with the, the fans as well, obviously. They come watch every week and that, and um, I think that, that's the that's main thing as well. And I, I like to do that. I like to be a part of the banter and that as well. I really enjoy it. Um, we just wanted to kind of end with a wee name the player game that was brought up by one of the, the kids in the group sent me a wee message. Yep. Um, so basically, I'm just going to make a statement or, or say a word, and you've just... Uh, First player that from Hibs, obviously, that comes into your head. Could so, be for lot, example, could be a lot of the same person here. Yeah. <laughs> well, for example, best dressed. That's hard. That's and not, not in a hip strip. 
that's hard. You should see some of the cobble in there. Um, Fontaine, maybe. Yeah, I'll go Fontaine. Yeah? No. No? Go Louis Stevenson, yeah. He's pretty bold and basic. Yeah, we'll go with that. When you see him? Yeah, yeah. That's fine now. Go, yeah. I'm happy with that. Louis Stevenson, great. Um, do we know this one? Comedian. Come and say. Yeah. Danny's not far behind. Danny Hanlon, but Keaton's is he's he's came in. He's a bit of a loud mouth. Jason uh, Cummins and Keaton seem quite a pair. Uh, I I think they need to take down a peg or two. There's a few <laughs> things planned, but Cummins will, will oh, top yeah. that. Yeah. So new boy rituals, yeah. Keaton's ice buckets, that kind of. Keep it on the hush. Just Keep it on the hush. Yeah, right. Don't want to get a sniff. No problem. Um, prankster, not as much comedy, but you know. Who plays pranks on everybody else? I think Cummins is top of that. Got yeah. little pyre polystyrene cups for lunch. Oh, yeah. And he, he pokes his finger at the bottom. So when you're putting your water or your milk or that, it's, <laughs> it goes everywhere in your food and that. So that's a bit of a, a bit of pain in the neck. Um, well, we, we may get a different name this time. Most intelligent. Who sits and reads the, the Herald in the morning or the no papers in financial the time? No, no papers? Nah, no, nah. good. Um, Fontaine, maybe. Paul Hanlon. Go Paul Hanlon. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He seems smart. Seems smart. He seems smart. <laughs> I, you can use your name if you want on this one, because I know how you're, you're kind of proud of your newbie. Uh, best car? Ferid is nice. He's got a, a nice mark. Razor 5, he did have a nice range over. Um, probably Fiddy, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. You that's got your car yet? Yeah, got it. Yeah, got it. Happy? Uh, yeah, yeah. Personalised yeah. plate here yet? No, yeah, no. Oh. Patient with waiting, but it's coming. I was having a look at the car part, but I couldn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's the DJ in the dressing room? It was Scotty Allen, which is horrendous, and I'm glad it's, it's no more. Um, Fraser Fivey plays some rubbish in the mornings. It's terrible. Um, Give us an example. Like, he'll go to like gangster music to Paolo Natini to rave. It's <laughs> so inconsistent. It's, nah, it's rubbish. You don't know whether to jump about or something. Uh, it's, sometimes it's depressing as well. Um, most vocal on the pitch. Who's, who's the one, who's the most sort of commanding? I think Dave Gray, Dave Gray, Skip, yeah, he's a bit demanding. Yeah. Five E's, a bit of a loud mouth. Keaton's, not even seen him play yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you can hear him. I can hear him, <laughs> aye. Nice one. Um, and finally, Teacher's Pet. We've all got one of those people we work beside, likes to do all the spreadsheets and that for the boss. Five E thinks he's a coach. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> He's tough. I he's think that's him banging on the door uh, as well, trying to get back to his ping pong table. But. He's rubbish as that as well, but <laughs> yeah, probably five you. Brilliant. Well, listen, thanks very much, Martin. And, no problem. Um, good luck for Sunday. Thank you very much. Rangers. All right, hope you Perfect. start. Cheers, thanks. thank you. All right, cheers.